Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle exclusive. That is an RX Muscle Victor Martinez exclusive. We just obtained some very hidden photos that have not been released to the public of Victor Martinez one day out from the IFBB Baltimore Pro, which is due to take place tomorrow morning. And people know that the Victor story has evolved over the last couple of years. It started with Victor in 2007, almost winning the Olympia. A lot of people, myself included, thought he deserved to beat Jay Cutler. He then ruptured his patellar tendon, put him out of action for a couple of years. Then he uh, got stuck in, uh, I guess you could say, customs. He, went and he was in jail for almost nine months. He broke his arm after that uh, in a freak arm wrestling accident, and, and people wrote Victor off as never being the same. He'll never come back to his, his form. At the New York Pro this year, against Dexter Jackson, Ruli Winkler, he finished third, and I felt that this was the best Victor Martinez we had seen in a long time, but his conditioning just wasn't what it needed to be. His size looked like a kid come back, but he wasn't polished looking. Victor made a, a concerted effort to say, you know what, I am going to go to Kuwait to train at Oxygen Gym, with uh, all the uh, you know top guys that have been training that big Rami and uh, you know in that environment where Beta Badai has set up for the bodybuilders, I call it the Middle East Mecca, uh, where these guys have basically nothing to do except eat, train, and sleep. And Victor Martinez's main problem in my mind was always distractions, life distractions, and to be over there in Kuwait in Oxygen Gym in that environment where it's conducive to training, it's conducive to nothing else essentially. I thought Victor would thrive. He did thrive. He's back now because he's got to qualify for the Olympia. A win in Baltimore tomorrow would automatically send him to the Olympia. And I think it would set him up for a showdown with some of the top guys in the sport. Now, um, you know, before I saw these pictures, and I'm going to, and I'm going to show you them in a second, um, I said to myself, there's no way Victor's going to be uh, a force to be reckoned with at the Olympia. But i got to tell you, uh, I'm going to put the pictures up now. As you can see, this looks like the victor of old. The symmetry is there, the polish is there, his size is back. Uh, according to my sources at Oxygen Gym, Victor has added 20 pounds back to his frame of what was lost before he went to Kuwait. I don't know how it happened, I don't know what it did, but it just goes to show Victor's terrific genetics in an environment that's conducive to growth and training really really sent him through the stratosphere. And I think that uh, if he comes in and dominates this show, and obviously there are other competitors in the show, Akeem Williams is looking his best. Uh, I know that the uh, Alexander Fedorov, who's you know almost 300 pounds, will be in the show. But Victor's got to be the guy to beat here. If Victor goes in and does his job and wins this show and qualifies for the Olympia, i got to believe he's got to be a top six Olympian once again, looking the way he does here. If you look at the pictures, you can see he's got the leg thickness from the side. Uh, he's got the classic Martinez back shot, back double bicep. You can see the glutes are starting to stray it now. He's obviously very depleted at one day out. He's carving up uh, today. He'll take the water out. Obviously, he'll get that tan on his body, and he'll transform overnight. But uh, I see everything that I've, I've seen in the past. A lot of people criticize his waist is getting you know too big. His waist is not big here. It's small. His, his size came back so much so that his waist even looks better now. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, Jay Cutler never had a small waist, but he had such a big upper body and such a wide shoulder girdle that it made his waist look tapered. And that's the same thing with Victor. Victor, when he's not sized up, doesn't look as freaky proportion-wise. His proportion is back here. You can see it. Um, you see the leg striations. You see the, the classic Victor Martinez side tricep shot. I'm impressed. You know, and it, it takes a lot to impress me. I think that uh, Victor is going to be a shocker to everyone at this year's Olympia. Obviously, he's got to get through Baltimore first. But these pictures show a lot, and they tell a big story about what Victor Martinez's body can do when he's put in the right environment. Um, obviously, the guys there at Oxygen Gym have really, you know, extended themselves to Victor, inviting him out there with John De La Rosa to train and to be sequestered in a sense and to help him achieve his best shape ever. I'm assuming after this show, if he does win, that Victor will go back to Kuwait to prepare for the last eight weeks before the Olympia. Uh, I just want to let everyone know that, you know, I'm a Victor Martinez fan and friend, and I want to see him do well tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, you know, 
we will see him back on that Olympia stage and vying for a top six spot in, in, in the Olympia because that's where Victor belongs. The physique I'm seeing here is capable of that. Uh, obviously, we won't know how he does until tomorrow, but these are exciting, exclusive pictures. Check them out. Share this video if you like it. Subscribe below if you like what you're watching. I'm aiming for 50,000 subscribers before the Olympia. We're very close. Uh, thanks for all your support. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle exclusive.